Hi, welcome back to 130 Women. It's time to introduce you to somebody very special to this project um, in many ways, somebody that lots of you may know. Um, she only actually passed just last year, uh, a very important person to our community. I'm just gonna turn it around, you might have. It is Joan Ellen Eels. Now, Joan's very important to this project. She was known by lots of people. Um, you might know her as Sister Joan, Joni Pony, Nana, Nana Joan, Old Nana. Um, and she was a healer and a helper, always, always caring, always helping others. And she was an instrumental contributor to the establishment of Golden, Goldfields Women's Healthcare Centre and what's now known as Biga Garam Bingu. So she's done a lot of nursing, uh, volunteering, and lots of work with charities and caring, and just generally making sure that everybody was happy, healthy, and looked after. So we have a gorgeous little display here for her that is kind of screaming love and caring. So I'm gonna take you for a little tour of the pieces that we have here. To credit Joan. So Joan used to love walking everywhere. So this installation piece is walking into our hearts. Thank you to everybody who helped us out by donating some some used runners to create this this piece. If you know new Joan, you probably saw her walking around Kalgoorlie and walking around the goldfields. This one here is a functional piece. It is a queen size quilt. You may like it on your wall or you may have somebody special who really deserves this quilt. It's a collaborative piece by Vella Moyle, Kathy Cadini, Karen Wibberley, Sue Ganey and Bobby Lee Field. It's called Joan's Quilt. These ladies all knew Joan. And the thing about Joan was she was an avid patchworker and all of her grandchildren had a quilt made by her. So in this quilt, there are some quotes that Joan used to say all the time. Love family. Live simply. Some gorgeous little guys in here. Speak kindly. And care deeply. So that was Joan, patchwork, love, I could imagine just snuggling up in this gorgeous little quilt. Maybe you know somebody special who needs a special blankie. Now, the Love Heart theme really, really came through strong in this. Um, all of our commission artists, we told them we wanted, you know, love and caring and how she was a healer and a nurse and a Reiki master. And all of the pieces came back to us with the Love Heart Incorporated somehow or another really strong theme for that here so this one here it's a collaborative piece between three goldfields women photographer tari Latz. this was her little uh brainchild to create this love heart with their model's hands model was um marita who is a local reiki master who we asked to do this photo shoot with us um along with some body painting with linda ray so that's Tari Latz's Healing Hands, her vision. We've printed it on some canvas, which gives it a little bit of extra, extra feel to it. And that gorgeous gold frame. Up here, this one watching over us at the top is a piece from Janet. Now Janet's an intuitive artist. We told Janet about Joan and she had a cup of tea with um, Joan's daughter, uh, granddaughter, SJ, who's one of the project producers. Tell her a little bit about her personality. And uh, Janet then meditated and came up with this incredible piece. But look at all those details in there. Absolutely gorgeous. All the things she cared about, all the things she achieved, all the things she fought for in her life. So that one's there watching over us. 
Now, when in this room, when you stop and take a listen, you can hear this one. It's a poem, Our Nana, Sister Joan, written and read by her eldest granddaughter, Joanne Miller. Now, a couple more here from the body painting photo shoot. We have Reiki Master, again printed on printed on um, canvas for a really unique result. And the light. You can really see the energy and the healing power in these. Collaboration, Linda Ray and Tari with the incredible model Reiki Master, Marita. Such a fun day, that one. Now we have over here one from Carol Thompson. Carol also knew Joan quite well. She's made this piece, The Healer. It's a paper craft and a jelly print. Another intuitive piece, you might know Rachel Doring. She's left us for cooler seaside places. She spent a long time in the gold field, so we hunted her down we thought an intuitive piece was just absolutely perfect for Joan. Um, Rachel works a little bit differently to Janet. She creates her intuitive pieces by dreaming. So whoever invests in this piece, it comes with quite a, a long and detailed letter about what appeared in Rachel's dreams and how this painting came out of her dreams and what she learnt about Joan. So she loved Scrabble, she loved crosswords. It's quite a tribute to her life, her caring and her healing. And apparently she's absolutely nailed those hands, very much Nana Joan's hands. We have another love heart here. Check the detail in this one. And yes, you guessed it. This one is a Kelly Acaro or Ka Fiber Art. You might know her from socials. Button my heart. Really groovy little number that one. Then down here we have one of our juniors. Arlene is. I want to say she's only 12. I don't think she's 13 yet. She's done this really gorgeous little pencil piece. So something that Joan used to do when her and her husband owned the grocery store, she would deliver groceries to people doing it tough, single mothers and the like, and um, only they wouldn't have actually seen her like this. The groceries just magically appeared on their doorstep when they needed them the most. Given with love by Arlene. Okay, so that is Nana Joan, Sister Joan, Joan Eels, however you may know her. If one of those um, took your fancy, come on in. The, um, the proceeds from any of the sales in this little area go to Goldfields Women's Healthcare Centre kind of makes sense. She was um, an integral part of that, an integral part of forming that, um, making it known that we actually needed a Goldfields Women's Healthcare Centre and um, making sure everybody was cared and loved for in our community. Sheet. Um, this one's going pretty good. So if there's something that you're, you're wanting to keep as a keepsake from 130 women, this is a great place to start. because they're still actually quite affordable in here. So maybe one of those is your bid. If one of them is and it's been outbid, make sure you come in before Sunday, 2 p.m. Last bids close, 2 p.m. on Sunday the 2nd of April. All proceeds go towards Center. Um, who have supported this project right from day one. They didn't even question it when the artists approached and um, 
explain the project to them. They were on board straight away and have what have helped make this magic happen. See you in the gallery soon. We're open from 10 till 2, Wednesday till Sunday, and our last day is the 6th of April.